So very, very good morning to you today. Welcome along to Eclipse Motorcycle. Today we're looking at this Pegasus 300, the new bike from Lexmoto. Absolutely beautiful little scooter. Very, very similar to the Chieftain, but brand new style. I just love the front on this bike. Very, very aggressive looking features to this. Those nice dual lights at the front. This does have the ABS on it as well. And we're just going to look down the bike. Two positions to put your feet as well. So you've got those bottom boards and you've also got the boards at the front so you can put your feet up a little bit. Passenger pegs on this. Flip them down and you've got a nice wide foot peg to the rear. Both sides for the passenger. Gorgeous exhaust on this as well in stainless. And then you've got those taro shocks that are just to the back of the bike. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to switch up to the second camera because I do want to show you the features on this bike. Absolutely beautiful little machine, this one. So we're just going to flip over the second camera and show you around the bike. So on the second camera, just come in a little bit closer on these pegs. So nice big wide foot peg for the rear passenger on this one. And then just get in on those shocks at the back, those taro shocks at the back. Nice bit of suspension to the rear of the bike. This one does come with the added USB plug on that. So you've got the USB plug there, fully waterproof. On this one, you've got the two positions. So you can pop the seat or you can pop the fuel on this one just by pressing the button when it's in the seat fuel mode. Storage under this seat, very, very big. And then just climbing onto the bike, I just want to show you this dashboard on this. Full TFT screen. So you've got your miles an hour to the left-hand side of the bike. Engine light just shows there and your rev counter to the right. Now with this one, you can obviously come in on this. I'm just going to try and get a better picture of this. So you've got the ability to, on the left-hand button, just to hit that button, that will give you the total, the trip. You've got also your daylight sensitivity on that front TFT. So we'll just put that back onto the total mileage, 1.8 miles so far. And then I do like this. So you can flip through. You've got a blue screen, the white and red, the black, and then obviously the white and blue. For personal use, I absolutely love that black TFT screen. Very, very easy to see and very, very easy to see at night. Just tells you the bike's charging at 12 volts. You've got your time there, which needs to be reset, obviously, because it's round about seven o'clock this morning. Fuel tank is on the left, your water temperature on the, uh, fuel tank's on the right, water temperature is on the left, and then your mileage just below. So really nice TFT display on this. And just looking back, You've got that nice little screen to the front. Now on the controls, we've got start button, you've got your hazard lights and your kill switch. Over on the left hand controls, these are slightly reversed on this one. So you've got your indicators to the bottom, horn to the middle. At the top, you've got your main beam and your dip beam. And then you've got your pass light situated just to the back. Mirrors on this are very, very wide as well. So where I'm actually seated, looking over the shoulder, you can see that I've got a very, very good view of the road behind me. So what we're going to do now, we're going to flip up to the ride camera and take you out on this bike. So final thing, just before we jump on the bike, you may notice you've got this nice backrest to the back of the bike as well. So nice seating position. That's just going to comfort you as you uh, ride the bike. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take this one out, put some miles on it and just show you what this bike rides like. I am absolutely looking forward to getting out on this thing. So side stand and main stand on this one, into the on position, bring the dash up, squeeze the brake and just fire that bike up. A lovely little purr from that engine. So we're just going to set the mirrors up now. And as I said when I showed you on the other camera, there is a lot of mirror over the shoulder. So it's really, really good on this one. And at low speed, even on tick over, it does hold its line very, very well. So low manoeuvring speed ability is very, very good. Very, very well planted on this. I'm just going to take this out into traffic. Now, obviously, I'm expecting to get this up to 40 mile an hour very, very quickly being a 300cc liquid cooled bike. And then while we wait for the traffic lights to change, just looking down the LCD screen, very, very easy to see what you are doing. And nice low speed manoeuvring ability, so. Cruising along at 
literally eight mile an hour low speed handles very very well very very planted on the road and the riding position on this is absolutely beautiful that seat really does tuck you in nicely so got my backside against that rib that runs across the middle of the seat and obviously that's going to uh, split you and your passenger up so the passenger's got something to rest against and the uh, rider's obviously got something to rest against as well but from the off it's obviously for 300cc very very torquey and for the price of this it's very very good so just going to come in hard on the front brake and pull that down you can tell from the car in front those daytime running lights are lighting up the back of that vehicle in front of me so very very bright lights on this one and then what we're going to do is take it down the dual carriageway my normal route get some mileage on this bike for the customer and then we're just going to straight up to 40 absolutely spot on with this bike absolutely beautiful well so this is the new uh, bike from lex moto this is the pegasus 300 cc and just looking down i can see now that the engine's starting to warm up i've got the first bar on the water temperature half a tank of fuel currently charging at 14.9 volts and apart from the time which we've got to reset is actually 721 but you've got the ability obviously to put that TFT to change up so if you don't like the black you can change it to blue you can change it over to the white and blue or you can change it to the white and red so I do like the idea that they have now started to put TFT screens on this and obviously with this one I can go a little bit faster being a 300 cc so I'm going to sit this around about 45 mile an hour So I'm still staying sort of within my parameters of ride testing but we're just going to obviously for 300cc just give it a little bit of extra beans and sit it at 45 but very very stable and my usual one hand off the bar trick in just a second when I've got no traffic behind me and nothing in front and let's just take that hand off the bar and even one handed it is very very stable Central gravity on this is very, very low. So an ideal urban commuter if you've got uh, a full bike license or you're going to do your A1 and A2 and you don't fancy a geared bike, this will probably be the option for you. And obviously this is one of the Lexmoto flagship models. It's only just come on the market. The Chieftain was a very, very big seller for the 125, but a lot of people have been saying, we really need a bigger scooter. I've got a full bike license, I really like a bigger scooter. What can you do for me? And Lexmoto have come out with this. Now obviously Lexmoto have got a lot of new models coming out. We did see the trailer last night, 30th of the 7th of this month. There's a new model that is going to be launched. Now, there's a lot of speculation. Is it going to be a Riot 250? Is it going to be the new Adrenaline? So, as everyone says, watch this page. Stay on the Lexmodo page, keep an eye on it, because there is something that is coming in the pipeline, but we, no one knows what it is at the moment. And obviously I have had a chat with my uh, people at Lexmodo, and I'm like, come on guys, what, what is it, what is it? They will not tell me, so it is very, very top secret, but whatever it is, if they're not telling me what it is, it's going to be good and obviously with the controls on this the only thing you've got to get used to is the indicators and the horn are reversed now so the indicators are now down the bottom the horn is just above set up as you would for the uh, the big bikes and we're just going to come in on the back brake now now they've got the lights working on the roundabout I'm just going to pull it down and I'm going to give it a big handful. Ooh, that really pulls up well. No hint of uh, the ABS kicking in on this. 
but obviously if you get yourself into a little bit of bother on a wet road ABS is the way to go so customer purchased this one about a week ago it's had all the PDIs, had all its checks everything's been set up and it's obviously now down to me as usual to test ride the bike and the second set of traffic lights are not working which is good straight round the roundabout cornering on this is lovely does lean very very well and obviously on fresh rubber taking a little bit easy but it is a dry morning and be aware of the car coming up the inside and then just bringing it back up to speed and I guess up to speed very very quickly coolant now on two bars so I'm sitting nicely on a nice uh, breezy morning like today but even with a bit of side wind bike handles absolutely superbly not getting buffeted about like you do on a little 125 obviously the weight of this bike is helping and those nice tyres just gripping the road so 5.5 miles in about another uh, 15 to go but it's not going to take me long to uh, get the mileage on this up and down the dual carriageway so what I'm going to do we're going to edit out here and then I shall catch up with you when we go back into the urban route so just coming off the uh, dual carriageway back onto the urban route so just to show you these feet up positions so just going to sit back in the seat have a quick look down and just show you you can put your feet up and there is still plenty of knee room at the front of the bike so if you fancy something a little bit easier put your feet up at the front or you can have them down on the bottom boards so we're just waiting for the traffic lights to change we'll take you in onto the urban route and obviously the handlebar position on this very very good I'm currently 16 miles in and it's still very very comfortable on my arms so absolutely perfect riding position on this got nice distance on those levers to the fingers as well so if you're a small handed rider or a large handed rider you're still going to be able to grip them controls absolutely perfectly and I am loving that new TFT display that they've got on this it definitely makes an improvement to uh, looking down at an LCD clock very very easy to read bike's now fully warmed up exactly halfway up charging at 14.6 still half a tank of fuel and just making our way back into town now so obviously this one's slightly longer video just for the fact that no one has taken this uh, Pegasus out yet I know there's been uh, a review from Lex Motor obviously showing you around the bike telling you about it but from a rider's point of view no speed handling is lovely and you get to see what it's like uh, as if you were Joe Public riding this bike so no commercial spiel on this one <coughs> and I'm going to do my uh, reach on this and uh, if you don't know what the reach is Ah, rideability, absolutely perfect, 300cc and that seat is lovely and comfortable just hugging me in against that uh, backrest, that's, it's sort of semi backrest that is on the seat so it's just uh, tucked in nice and uh, tidy against it economy, the economy on these is meant to be really really good I'm just going to let this guy get out of the way because I know exactly what he's going to do <laughs> so economy on this very very good affordability obviously this is a slightly higher priced bike but it is 300cc that's what you've got to remember guys so affordability still very very good comfort 
I tell you, this thing is so, so comfortable. I could sit and ride this all day. Now, I'm not a huge lover of either cruisers or scooters, but if this was my urban commute and I, want, I didn't want a 125, this is what I would go for. So, comfort is very, very good. The handling, exceptional, absolutely brilliant. Very, very low centre of gravity. Handles absolutely superbly. And the only thing is I've got to keep an eye on that clock because being a bigger CC it does run away with you. So I've got to just make sure that I stay within my 30s. So just running it around town now. And it just folds into those corners. Absolutely beautiful. Then once again, around the corner. And just bring the power on. Absolutely perfect. Obviously with this one, you can do so many things with this. There's loads and loads of room under the seat for a helmet. You can put your shopping under there. Does the job very, very well. Now I'm just going to do some little uh, back roads. Because obviously if you live in town, it's great seeing it right up and down the your carriageway. But a lot of people have said on my videos, you know, what's it like around town? Is it easy to manoeuvre? Is it comfortable? Can it handle well? So... We're just going to run this around town, and even on tight little corners like this, I can just fold it into those corners. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, follow this car in front, and go around a few of these back roads at low speed, just to show you the handling ability on this Pegasus. So around town it's absolutely ideal. Like you haven't lived in one of the back roads again, so I'm just gonna hook it round a really tight right. Perfect. Really does the job well. So round town, small roads. And just folding this about as your urban commute, you're not gonna have an issue. Still very, very good. Very, very easy to manoeuvre and manage. And then low speed handling. Just checking around the corner. Thank you very much, Mr. Lorry driver. But exceptional. So, rideability, 10. Economy. I haven't checked out yet, but I'm still at half a tank, and obviously I've only done 20 miles, but I'd expect this to be uh, a decent mileage on this, so I'm gonna give it a nine, because obviously I don't know. Affordability, yes, it is in the big bike range, but it is still cheaper than your other models of a similar CC. And I'm not going to mention the models, but you know what they are. Two of them are Chinese, one of them is Japanese. But it's still at least a grand, grand and a half under what you'd pay for another big bike. So, absolutely perfect. Comfort, 10 out of 10. I'd give this 20 if I could. And handling, I'd give this a 20 as well. It is superb. So, Lexmoto Pegasus. As always, if you like the video, or you've got any comments, leave them in the section below. All the bloggers below that I follow, pop onto the page. And you can find all the stuff at revbomb.co.uk, down the bottom, Eclipse Motorcycles, link to the website, link to their Facebook page. If you want to give us a call, 01908 643 603. And as usual, on my Revbomb page, revbomb.co.uk, all my social media is on the social media page. And just to quickly, over those potholes, you can see that that suspension, that tarot suspension, is soaking up the bumps. I feel a little bit coming through, but... It's still telling me what's going on on the road below. So as always, like, subscribe. Hit the uh, notifications if you want to be notified of any future videos. And until then, I'll be signing out. Be well, ride safe, guys. And it's a goodbye from me. So just a quick thing that we forgot to do on the ride video, and that was to show you what the storage is under the seat. So we're just going to go into this. So you've got your seat and fuel locked there. Once again, pop the fuel at the front, that just pops up the flat. And then the seat, you just press the seat button, 
that will pop the seat at the front. Now this is hydraulic lifters, so it holds the seat up nice and well. And just look at the storage in that. You will get a full face helmet under this and you've still got enough room at the front to get an open face helmet under there, all your shopping, and then obviously your Lexmoto tool kit and all your chains or your wet weather gear. But it will take a full size helmet under this seat. And then obviously clip it down. Now this one obviously clips from the front. So that's just to show you the storage under the seat. And then obviously that fuel cap there. So it's something we missed off the ride video. Numpty here forgot to do it. So that is your under seat storage on the bike.